you know, I don't know about you, but I just feel so fancy right now. back to share some yarn goodness with you all today so I have a finished project to share with you all a few works in progress and a few things that I've bought of course and a few other things that I wanted to share so let's go ahead and get started all right so the first work in progress that I have is the profusion cowl I have added another color since I last spoke with you all I have added the blue color so here it is it's looking very well so this is the brown color that I have here and I of course have finished this beautiful color and these are all knit crate colors and now I've started on the blue and so it's coming up very nicely I'm really enjoying this knit um, it's a great knit to work on in the afternoon it's just at this point it's basically just stocking that around and around and around and so yeah it's pretty simple so um the colorway names i will put uh in the description box below um and also i did mention them in the last episode as well i don't think i have them all with me today but i do have the names of the colorways that i'm going to be adding to the shawl um i don't have the ball bands with me actually i have one right here i may have them yeah stipple stipple is one of the colorways let me see if i have the other colorways i don't believe that i do so i'm not sure which one is stipple i think stipple might be this color here i'll double check on that that's the only ball band that i have at the moment I have ball bands like all over the place. Let me double check and see if I have any of the other ball bands. Cause I have yarn everywhere y'all, everywhere. Like it's a hot mess. Let me check. I'm going through like all my little, ah, I found another one. I found another one. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is like, real time stuff right here y'all okay <laughs> so sad all right i found another ball band okay i found two of them all right so one of the colors is venezia and the other color is stipple so yeah that's two of the three colors on here this third color, I'm not sure which one it is, but I will find it and I will put um, all the colorway names in the description box below. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so the colors that I will be adding uh, to this are Michelangelo. Uh, gouache. Fresco and Tunisian. So I will be adding all these colors to my cowl. So I think it's going to look great. It's going to be huge, but the perfusion cowl is really huge. Now I am deviating from the pattern a little bit. Um, because you're supposed to, and I'm not giving away too much because this is a paid pattern, but you're supposed to knit like 12 inches of one color. I'm not doing that. I am pretty much knitting until I run out of the color and then I add another color. So I'm not exactly following the pattern, you know, word for word, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm enjoying the knit and it's totally fine. I am enjoying the knit. So that's what's important and uh, you all may notice that I have the cutest stitch marker on here I'm going to talk about this stitch marker later I'm not sure how well you can see it but what I love about this stitch marker is that I feel like it looks like me 
and I'm going to um, talk a little bit more about this stitch marker later on when I share with you all a few things that I have bought. Oh, and I'm using my Chagu needles, of course, and this is a size, let me see, size 7, 4.5 millimeter, and this is a 22 inch cable. So yeah, really enjoying that. And um, let's see what I want to do next. All right, so that's that. And we'll move on to more works in progress. Okay, so this work in progress, I frogged something, y'all. I frogged something. So as you all know, I was working on a corner to corner blanket. The more I worked on the blanket, the more I did not like the pattern. And I had done a corner to corner uh, blanket before and I really loved it. It was by Jada and Stitches. Uh, she has a YouTube channel and she does great tutorials. She also has um, a multitude of patterns and I really, really like her patterns. And so I decided to go back to her pattern because I had made a corner to corner blanket for, from her and um, I am loving it and I wish I had just stick with her pattern or stuck with her pattern in the first place. And so I frogged my original blanket and I pretty much started over and this is where I'm at now. So it's almost like a little shawl at this point. So I could wear it as like a handkerchief shawl, maybe. But yeah, I'm much happier with it now. I absolutely love this pattern. It is the, let me make sure I say this right. It is the corner to corner blanket pattern by Jada in Stitches. So highly recommend it highly recommend it um, I just noticed something in my crochet bag that just kind of made me laugh I have one of those ergonomic um, wrist things I don't know about y'all but sometimes I don't know if it's because my tension is too tight or what it is but if I crochet for a while my hand starts to cramp up so I'll switch to knitting but then sometimes like if I knit for too long my thumb will start to hurt so then I'll switch back to crochet. Different crafts use different muscles and it's weird, but this little thing, I got it from Hobby Lobby and um, it's fantastic. It's not a lot to it, but it's like a ergonomic sleeve. It's, it's great. Not a whole lot to it, but it's really helpful. Yeah. So let me know if you all have one of these. Or you have two. I used to have two. I don't know what happened to the other one. But it's it's great. I don't know if it's like provides some sort of compression or what it is. But it's fantastic. So I do enjoy using this. Alright. I do believe. Oh yes, yes. I do have another work in progress. I was about to forget one. Like my pile is gaining over here. Oh, and for this pattern, I am using a um, I number nine, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I also have another very cute stitch marker on this one as well. I know you all can't see it, but I will share more about it later. Okay, that over there. All right. Okay, so the last work in progress that I am working on is the Raspberry Beret by Little John Knit. And of course, I am punishing myself by using black yarn. Here it is. Y'all, I absolutely love this pattern. It is so well written. It is absolutely amazing super super great pattern i am using some scrap yarn i believe this is hobby lobby yarn in black um it's yarn i've had lying around the house forever and i'm using it and it's amazing 
really soft, really soft yarn. Um, yeah, just had it lying around the house and it's working out really well. Very simple pattern. Um, trying to remember if this pattern is paid or not. I know she does have a YouTube channel as well. Of course, I will leave all links to everything in the description box below. Um, cause I can't remember if this is a pay pattern or not, but I will definitely let you all know about all of that. But yes, yeah, so for this project, I am using a H number eight, five millimeter crochet hook and it's wonderful. Right now I am in the decrease rows. So you can see that the points are starting to curl up a little bit, which is great. So I am loving that. And I have another cute little stitch marker. All right, so those are all of my works in progress. Okay, so I think that is, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that is all. All right, y'all should see the mess that I have over here. Okay, so. The reason why I'm so excited about that particular work in progress is because I've kind of already made one. And that takes me to my finished project. And I'm so excited to share that with you all. Okay, so. If I can find it. It's over here. Okay, everybody. This is my work in progress. I hope it's not being blown up on camera. It's a beautiful golden yellow color. Hope you all can see that. Oh, I love this project so much. And let me show you all how I love to wear this hat. You know, I don't know about you, but I just feel so fancy right now. Like, so fancy right now. I love it. I just love it. Like, I love this hat so much. I mean, I just love the way it looks with my hair. It can be styled so many different ways. I just love it, love it, love it so much, so much. I mean, it's fantastic. You know, I could just do so many things with it. I'm like using the viewfinder as a mirror. <laughs> but yeah, feeling real fancy. I just love this hat. Um, yeah, there's just endless ways to wear this hat and it's warm. It's super, super warm. I just love this hat. It's such an amazing project. And it keeps your head warm. It really does keep your head warm. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it is, it is incredible. It really, really just keeps your head warm. I've worn it out a few times and it goes with so many different outfits and yeah, I just absolutely love it. I love the way it feels and I'm going to use some different yarns on it or with it and I hope that it keeps its shape. So the yarn that I used I had some scrap yarn. Um, this yarn was gifted to me. I am not sure. I know it's worsted weight. I feel like it may have been like Walmart mainstays or it may have been Hobby Lobby. 
I'm really not sure. I feel like I want to say it was at Mainstays, but I'm really not sure. But anyway, it is worsted weight yarn. There's no ball band with it, but it is worsted weight yarn. It's super soft, wherever it's from. It's super, super soft. Um, but I do want to try making it again with maybe like a super wash, um, a super wash wool. A merino wool so that'll be fun but y'all absolutely love this hat love it love it love it love it love it and I definitely encourage you to make one too uh, so of course um, Lil John Knits she has a YouTube channel and um, she also has Instagram and um, Ravelry as well and it was through her Instagram that I saw her, no, it was through her YouTube channel that I saw her wearing this hat. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. I need that in my life. And so, of course, I made it and now I am on hat number two. And I will probably make like 10 of these in every color I can think of because it's amazing. It's amazing. I can't stop looking at it. So anyway, yes, yes, I absolutely love it so, so, so much. All right. Yes. So because I am just like totally, totally, totally gushing over this. You know what I think I need, y'all? I think we need a crochet break. Crochet break. All right. Or a knitting break. Let's go.
to share some things with you all that I have bought and I hope that you all enjoyed your knitting, crochet, yarn break, weaving, sewing, whatever you did. Um, I hope that you all enjoy that and I hope that you all enjoy watching me work on my projects. Okay, so let's talk about some things that I um, that I've bought. Okay, so I went to the Hoblog, that's what I call Hobby Lobby. And I bought this yarn bag. It says, yarn is a lifestyle. Now, isn't that the truth? Now, in here, I am holding my Profusion cowl. Also inside, I have some chapstick and a pencil. So let me know if you all write your, uh, or you print your patterns out and mark things off with a pencil or pen, or do you print, or do you uh, use your digital copy and you mark them off on your tablet or your iPad? Me personally, depending on the complexity of the pattern, I do both. Also, do you keep chapstick in your yarn bag? I must have chapstick everywhere in every room in every bag at all times. In the car, in every car, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, oh, one more thing, um, I just remembered that I didn't share with you all one of the skeins of yarn that I'm using in my Perfusion Calum, and it is the Stomata, here it is. But as I said before, if you go back to the previous uh, episode on my channel, you'll see all the colors that I am using for my Perfusion shawl, just in case I forgot something else. All right. So another thing that I purchased was um, from Brown Girl Knits. I purchased some stitch markers and progress keepers from her. Y'all, I absolutely love these. They are amazing. It's, it's so wonderful to finally get products that I feel like look like me. And as you all can see, I'm using all of the stitch markers and all of the project keepers on my projects currently. And it was a nice surprise because I thought I was just getting the progress keepers, but it turns out I was getting like these little square um, stitch markers along with it as well. And she sent me a sticker, so that was nice. And it's just amazing. I wear my hair like all of those uh, stitch markers, so uh, or all of those progress keepers. So that was really, really cool. And just, just absolutely amazing pro uh, products. And I will leave a link to her shop in the description box below. Another fabulous person that I bought from is Trisha from Tada Diva. Uh, she has a podcast. You all may be familiar with her. She's on Instagram, but many of you all may know her from YouTube. Well, she has a business called The Fiber Tree. And The Fiber Tree offers journaling supplies, um, stickers, um, stationery supplies, all sorts of amazing things. Some of her um, YouTube videos kind of show like a plan with me sort of thing and it's amazing how she can take a plain piece of paper and turn it into like this beautiful collage of her day and her thoughts and it's amazing. Um, so let me show you all what I bought. So this is what I bought. Now, of course, I have covered it with stickers, um, but this is the journal that I bought. This is a beautiful gray color, and this is a lined journal. I know this is showing up really bright right now, um, but this is a lined journal. It comes with this little strap, but these are some of her stickers. Now, this one in the corner here, this is Brown Girl's Knit. Um, I couldn't help myself, I had to stick it on here. But this is the sticker that Brown Girl Knit sent me. But the other two stickers are from the Fiber Tree. And I love it. Um, just looking at all, all of these stickers. This one, when my hair is out, like after I've just washed it, this is how my hair looks. And <laughs> I just love that I look at these products and they remind me of myself. And um, just looking at this sticker here from the Fiber Tree. I love coffee, I love tea, and I like to wear my hair in two puffs. So that reminds me of myself. And then looking at this one here, um, I have a hat just like that. And of course, you all know I love purple. 
And then I have one on the inside here. She's drinking, looks like a latte. That's blowing up a little bit, but she's drinking a latte. I love um, a good chai tea and yeah, amazing stuff. So both ladies are extremely talented. Um, and I'd recommend that you go check out both of their businesses, but it's Brown Girl Knits and Ta Da Diva. Oh, no, no, no. Fiber Tree. <laughs> check out Ta Da Diva on YouTube. Um, but the name of her company is called The Fiber Tree. And um, all of them have Instagram pages as well. So go check that out. Um, let's see, am I forgetting anything? That is all that I have bought. I did want to share with you all uh, something. Um, so a good friend of mine that I've gotten to know very well has um, gifted me something that I just absolutely love. And it's amazing when you meet someone that is as geeky as you are. As you all can see, I got Grogu hanging out with me. I got Doctor Who hanging out with me over here. Um, it's amazing when you can meet somebody that is that loves yarn, but also is just as geeky and as nerdy as you are. And so I had a good friend of mine. I don't know if she wants me to uh, share her name, but um, she sent me a wonderful gift. And she sent me a Furls Streamline Crochet Hook. How amazing is that? And what's so cool is when you open it, it has drum roll please. So you get excited, you get excited. And so when you open it up, this is what you get. Is that not amazing? And what's so cool is I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, this reminds me of the galaxy. And it is, it is uh, their galaxy uh, Andromeda hook or Andromeda hook. And like, that is so cool. And then I, I didn't even know that this was from their galaxy line. I just looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, it reminds me of the galaxy. I don't know if you all remember, um, men in black the little cat had the galaxy in his necklace it also kind of reminds me of that as well um but the first thing i thought of was like wow it reminds me of the galaxy and i am absolutely obsessed with things from the galaxy like um i have a mouse pad and a um a mouse pad and a keyboard that's got like the galaxy on it i've got star wars stuff star trek stuff Doctor Who, um, all kinds of stuff. Like I just love anything that has to do with the galaxy. And so it was just so amazing to get this. And it's so nice to know someone that just gets you. And it's just such an amazing feeling. Um, and I keep looking at it like, oh, I need to use this. And I have used it and it's great. But um, I just want to like sit it on the shelf and just stare at it. And this is more like a Susan Bate type of hook. I normally use the boy type of hooks, but this is more like a Susan Bates type of hook. So if you're thinking about getting a furls crochet hook, just keep that in mind. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty and sparkly. Like, let me put this in the box because I can't stop looking at it, folks. I cannot stop looking at this hook it's sad I know it's sad anyway those are all the new things that I have gotten okay so what I'm going to do is introduce to you all a new segment on the channel called Babadon Babadon simply means let's chat in French so this is not necessarily yarn related um it's just a topic that I want to talk to you all about and we can put a little bit of yarn in it if you want to. But today's topic is where would you travel if money or health was no obstacle? Like if you didn't have to worry about work, age, whatever, like their money, work, health, 
obligations, none of that was an obstacle at all, where would you travel? Now for me, I would do a Euro trip. I would travel to the south of France, Switzerland, and Belgium. That would just be absolutely amazing. Now, of course, this is a yarn channel, so I would have to visit every yarn shop and I would pack an extra suitcase just to hold the yarn. That way, when I go back through the airport, I will have a suitcase just for yarn. I don't have to worry about trying to stuff the yarn into my suitcase with my clothes. No, I'm going to bring an extra empty suitcase just for yarn and I would have the best time. Um, so where would you go and what would you do? Where would you go if health, money, none of that stuff was an obstacle? Uh, and what would you do? Let me know in the comment section below. So thank you all so much for watching and I'm going to leave you all with some Queen's Yarn Boutique yarn. So until next time, bye.